Performance Evaluation of Crumb Rubber Modified Bitumen on Binder Course of Stone Mastic Asphalt Mix Abstract Utilization of Crumb Rubber Modified Bitumen for Wearing Course in Stone Mastic Asphalt Mix Pavement has been widely researched by many researchers due to its enormous benefits. This present paper focuses on the performance of binder course in stone mastic asphalt mixes using crumb rubber modified bitumen, CRMB, as a binder at five different levels, namely 5.7%, 6%, 6.3%, 6.6% 6 and 6.9% respectively by weight of bituminous mixes. The optimal of crumb rubber modified bitumen was identified by carrying out martial stability test, indirect tensile strength, fatigue, and rutting test. Based on the results obtained, it was observed 6.3% of crumb rubber modified bitumen improves the performance of binder course in stone mastic asphalt mix. Keywords, crumb rubber, stone mastic asphalt mix, indirect tensile strength, fatigue, rutting, binder course. 1. Introduction Bituminous concrete mix is a combination of aggregates and binder. The aggregates acts as the structural skeleton of the pavement and bitumen acts as the glue of the mix. The properties of the aggregates have direct and significant effect on the performance of the pavement Patel ETAL, 2016, and Sun ETAL, 2018. The utilization of commercial byproducts and recycled materials in construction as secondary and alternative materials has gained widespread acceptance and is becoming more important. The demands for industrial byproducts and recycled materials are increasing per annum Joni ETAL, 2019. Using industrial byproducts in pavement engineering not only provides construction materials with possible savings over new materials, but it also reduces demands on natural construction materials. It also protects the environment and save money through reducing the amount of waste materials requiring disposal. An asphalt pavement which is designed and constructed properly will eventually undergo various types of failures due to various reasons such as number of years pavement served, type of paving materials used and due to other environmental factors etc. Tran ETAL, 2015, Ifran ETAL, 2018, and Wang ETAL, 2019. Among various types of pavement failures rutting or grooving on the top layer is the major type of failure reduces the life of the flexible pavements. This may be due to the insufficient compaction of base slash sub base layer or bituminous layers during construction. The type of mix used in pavement construction plays an important role for minimizing the rut depth. Stone mastic asphalt or stone matrix asphalt, SMA, is one such mix that provides tough and a durable asphalt mix. It is highly used as a rut resistant mix for wearing and intermediate courses. SMA is a gap graded asphalt mix that has a stone on stone contact to provide strength and has a rich mortar binder to provide durability. Generally, SMA is more expensive than conventional bituminous mixes because SMA requires high asphalt content, more durable aggregates and fibers as a stabilizer. The cost of stone matrix asphalt is found to be 20-25% to higher than the typical dense graded mixes. Thus, there is a need for the study of alternate materials which can reduce the cost of SMA mix. Reclaimed asphalt pavement, wrap, is the scarified pavement material containing aggregates and asphalt. Large quantities of wrap materials are generated during construction and maintenance of the highway Hanuman Therao ETAL, 2019, and Joni ETAL, 2019. The use of reclaimed asphalt pavement materials can substitute the high consumption of coarse aggregates and asphalt for SMA mix. On the other hand recycling of wrap also reduces the use of depleting natural aggregates and solves the disposal issues of reclaimed asphalt material generated from pavement rehabilitation. Problem Statement and Aim of the Study Virgin bitumen, VG30, is commonly used in most part of India, and moreover, Indian roads subjected to higher traffic loading and hot weather conditions. The weather conditions in India leads to variation of temperature of about 60 degrees Celsius at surface to 30 degrees Celsius at subgrade during summer. The main objective of this study was to evaluate the effect of crumb rubber modified bitumen in binder course of stone mastic mix, which involves the study of volumetric properties and mechanical properties of SMA mix in the binder course. 2 Materials and Method 2.1 Materials, Asphalt Binder with Penetration Grade 40 60ths and Average Softening Point of 56 degrees Celsius was utilized. Table 3 and 4 illustrate the physical and chemical properties of crumb rubber modified bitumen respectively. In the present studies crumb rubber with grade 55 is selected based on the climate condition in southern part of India IS 15462, 2004, and Density of CRMB was found to be 1.11 GM slash CM3. CRMB55 was procured from Mangalore Refineries and Petrochemicals Limited, Mangalore, 
Karnataka, India. The experimental program in this research studies aim to evaluate the effect of CRMB for binder course by evaluating the mechanical properties of crumb rubber modified stone mastic asphalt mixes. The composite aggregate consists of the coarse, medium, and fine aggregate with a maximum 19 mm thickness. Fine aggregate consists of the manufactured sand resulting from crushing operations going through a sieve of 236 mm and held on a sieve of 0,075 mm aggregates of for this study are collected from KMS Crusher, Bagalur, Tamil Nadu. The properties of aggregates are summarized in Table 1. The gradation for 19 mm SMA is carried out as per Indian Road Congress SP, 79, 2008 as illustrated in Table 2. 2.2 Sample Preparations and Test Method in the design of bituminous mixes, the Marshall method of mix design is generally being practiced in India. It is a former design method developed by Bruce Marshall. In this method, the plastic deformation resistance of the cylindrical sample of the bituminous mix is measured when the mix is loaded at 5 cm slash minute on its lateral surface. Marshall stability is defined as the load carrying capacity of the specimen in kg or kn at the standard temperature of 60 degrees Celsius. In the present study CRMB is added to SMA mix at different percentages of 5.3%, 5.7%, 6%, 6.3% and 6.6% by the weight of total mix and filler of 10% is added to preparing SMA mixes, approximately 1200 gm of aggregates are weighed and heated to a temperature of 175 degrees Celsius to 190 degrees Celsius and required a quantity of bitumen is heated to a temperature of 120 degrees Celsius to 165 degrees Celsius heated bitumen is added to the heated aggregates and mixed thoroughly at the specified mixing temperature by hand mixing or using a mechanical mixer. The prepared mix is placed in a preheated mold of 95 degrees Celsius to 165 degrees Celsius and compacted using a hammer by applying 50 blows on either side. Compacted molds are kept for one day without disturbance, then samples are extracted from molds and the dimensions and weight of samples are noted down. After that samples are kept in water bath maintained at 60 degrees Celsius for half an hour. Then the specimens are tested in Marshall testing machine and stability, flow are noted. Then the specimen properties are calculated and illustrated. 3 Results and Discussions 3.1.1 Marshall Stability The results obtained for different percentage CRMB55 is tabulated in Table 6 and illustrated in Figures 2, 3, 4, and 5. Pavement may subjected to number of repeated stresses, deformation and also fatigue cracks due to the movement of heavy traffic loads on the pavement so, it is necessary that the mix design used for the pavement construction should be done properly in order to withstand stresses coming from the vehicles. Mix design should possess resistance to low temperature cracking, moisture damages and also permanent deformation. In the design of SMA mix, several properties are considered such as percentage of air voids, voids in mineral aggregates binder content, voids in aggregates are should be within the permissible limit 23. As per Table 5, which explains the mix design parameters for typical SMA mix 23. The Marshall Stability Test Results satisfies all the volumetric properties such stability, flow, VMA, and air voids which is tabulated in table and illustrated in Figure 2, 3, 4 and 5. Among all the percentages of CRMB55, the stability value obtained for 6.3% of CRMB55 was higher compared to other percentages of CRMB55 and further increase in CRMB55 content the stability value started decreasing. In the case of Marshall Flow Value and CRMB55 content, 6.3% of CRMB55 achieved the desired flow value further increase in binder content leads to increase in flow value which in turn leads to increase in voids. With respect to voids filled in mineral aggregates, VMA, and air voids, AV, i.e. VMA should be min 17% and AV should be 4% respectively, both the mixed design parameter was satisfied by 6.3% of CRMB55. Further SMA mixes samples with 6.3% CRMB55 is prepared using Marshall Mix Design Method which is designed and developed by Bruce Marshall and indirect tensile strength, fatigue and rutting test is carried out. 3.2 Indirect tensile strength, the bituminous mixes are tested for long-term stripping susceptibility through the indirect tensile strength test. The specimens are tested for the change in diametrical tensile strength due to the effects of water saturation and accelerated stripping phenomenon observed due to freezing and thawing. The test is carried out for six sets of compacted asphalt mix. Three mixes are tested for its in a dry condition and the other three are tested after subjecting to a freeze-thaw cycle. Test is carried out as per ASTM D6931, 2012. Its test is conducted for the Marshall specimens having air voids of 7 plus 0.5%.
the required percentage of air voids can be obtained by adjusting the number of blows for the martial specimens. Six specimens having air void content of 7% are casted. Three of them are tested for dry. The other three are subjected to vacuum pressure of 13 to 67 kPa then wrapped through plastic film and placed in a freezer for 16 hrs at 18 plus slash 3 degrees C. After freezing of the specimens, they are subjected to thawing by keeping them in a water bath maintained at 60 plus slash 1 degree C for 24 hours. Both dry and wet specimens are placed in a water bath at 25 plus slash 0.5 degree C for 2 HOUR then tested for indirect tensile strength. Table explains its results. Referring to Table 7 illustrates 6.3% CRMB55 content showed higher tensile strength and tensile strength ratio compared to remaining percentage of CRMB55 i.e. 5.7%, 6%, 6.6% 6 and 6.9%. Immersion wheel tracking test slash rutting test. For rutting test the aggregates and bitumen are preheated for specified temperature and mix is prepared in the pan. The prepared mix is poured into the rutting mold having dimensions of 600 mm x 100 mm x 200 mm. The specimens are compacted using UTM for the required thickness. Then the prepared mold is fixed in the testing equipment and tested for the tire pressure of 5.6 kg slash cm2 with speed of the wheel as 25 passes slash minute. The rut depth is taken for every 500 passes until 10,000 passes or the rut depth is equal to 12 mm, whichever is encountered first. The rut depth readings are taken on either side of the specimen at a distance of 15 cm from the edges and average rut depth is calculated. Figure 6 and Figure 7 shows 6.3% content of CRMB55 played a key role in reducing the rut depth compared to 5.7%, 6%, 6.6%, 6.9% of CRMB55 content of an SMA mix. Conventional SMA Figure 7 rut depth values for 45 mm thickness specimen 3.3 Indirect Tensile Fatigue Test Slash Fatigue Test The fatigue test is conducted on the conventional SMA mix with 6.3% of CRMB55 ITFT apparatus. In the indirect repeated load testing, the fatigue value is determined using recoverable horizontal and vertical deformation that occurred by applying dynamic loading on the specimen. The specimen is tested at three different temperature, 250C, 350C, and 450C, and four stress levels. 10%, 20%, 30%, and 40% of failure stress. The specimen of 6.3% CRMB55 content is deemed to be failed when it undergoes vertical deformation of 5 mm due to fatigue loading. The FIGS A10 shows the log log plot of fatigue cycles vs micro strain, horizontal tensile strains, for three types of sample mixes at three temperature. The figures also provides the respective regression equation of the form log NF equals LOGK1 plus K2 LOGE. It can be observed from the above figures and summarized data, the Y, intercept, LOGK1, of regression equation represents the number of fatigue cycle at failure for unit strain. At lower room temperatures, i.e., 250C and 350C, the intercept is highest for SMA mix with 6.3% CRMB55 yielded good results compared to SMA mix at 450C. Four conclusions. Based on the laboratory studies carried out, following conclusions can be derived. 1. Stability slash strength of stone mastic asphalt mix is increased by adding 6.3% of CRMB55. 2. The volumetric properties of CRMB55 and SMA mix for binder course, satisfies the standard requirements. 3. Addition of 6.3% of CRMB55 increases the fatigue life of SMA mix at various temperature and stress levels, the mixture found to achieve higher fatigue life for 6.3% CRMB55 compared to other percentage of CRMB55. 4. Addition of 6.3% of CRMB55 to SMA mix plays important role in improving the rutting resistance. 5. Use of different modified binders, aggregate gradation, and recycled materials are recommended for future studies. Or CID. 0000-0002-7549-7723